Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing some computer surgery. My wife has this old laptop. This is just this sort of old reversible Toshiba laptop that uh, she doesn't use anymore and hasn't used for a good while now. Uh, it's one of these sort of reversible things, but it's kind of broken. It's not that the computer doesn't run at all at this point, but it's extraordinarily slow. It has a loose charge port, so it has difficulty getting a charge and holding a charge. The battery is really old, so if it's not on a wall outlet, then it dies really quickly, and sometimes you won't notice it because uh, the port's a little wobbly and you don't realize that it's on battery and then it just dies. All these different problems. So I'm gonna show you today how if you have a laptop that has died, if it's something other than the hard drive, so the hard drive or solid state drive inside is still good, I wanna show you how to pull that thing out and get your files and anything else that you want off of that drive back onto a different computer so you can save all those files even though your computer may not be functional. Let's take a look. Aside from the screwdriver and the laptop itself, all you need is a two and a half inch drive enclosure, which you can get on Amazon for a little bit under $10 if you're looking for a budget one. First, we remove the bottom panel of the laptop, and this process varies by laptop, but usually just take out all the screws and pull the panel off. Now, this laptop I used did have clips in addition to the screw, so I did use a small plastic spudger to get those clips apart as I removed the bottom panel. Not that I do this every time, but the best practice here is to go ahead and remove the connector for the battery just so you don't accidentally short something out. Finally, remove the hard drive. This one used an adhesive at the bottom, so I had to pry it out, but usually it'll just be some small Phillips head screws or other similar screws. And now with our drive in hand, just install it into your external enclosure and plug it on into another computer. So now that we have the drive actually plugged into the computer, it should show up here under devices and drives. To get to this page, in case you don't know, just open up an explorer window and then click on this PC. And because I'm pulling this drive out of a Windows PC and just plugging it straight back into a Windows PC, it should show up for you if you're doing that similar process very easily right off the bat. However, if you're coming from a different operating system, Windows may or may not be able to recognize the file system. It really just depends on what you're coming from. But in my case, it was very simple and it shows up as the G drive. Yours may have a different drive letter. You'll just have to kind of look for it. But if I click into that, I want to see the file system of Windows from the other computer that this drive actually came out of. Now to find your specific users folders, you're going to want to go to users. And then in my case, my wife's folder is here and this shows all of her different folders her desktop her her music you know downloads all those things documents all those now when you first go into this it may give you an error message which it gave me this one that says I don't have access but to get access just click continue which I click continue and then it gave me access to all of these different folders I don't know if you'll see that or not but just be aware that if you do get that message just click the continue button and you'll be good to go. At this point, you can just drag and drop folders. I created a folder on the desktop of my computer here to just pull these folders or files over to and dump them there. So there you have it. This computer is no longer functional. It does not have a drive in it whatsoever. And really it's so outdated, so old, so slow, and there's enough physical problems. It's probably not gonna get fixed. So hopefully you learned something through this process. If you weren't really familiar with how pulling out drives, especially from a Windows based PC and then just plugging them straight into another PC, how that worked, hopefully this gives you a little bit more confidence than if you have a broken laptop like this to go ahead, open it up, get the drive out of there, and that way you can save the files without even having to have a functional laptop. Now, obviously there are other ways of doing this process. Obviously with this laptop still having been functional, I could have just plugged an external hard drive straight into it and pulled files off of it that way. But if you have a computer that has some other major issue, maybe the main board is dead, but the actual hard drive in it is still good, pulling the hard drive out altogether is just a quick and easy way to get all of your files back off of that. And then of course I would caution you that some laptops <coughs> MacBook Pro <coughs> have storage that is not removable in any way, whether it be just soldered directly to the main board of the laptop, or even it's a proprietary connector, like I believe the MacBook Pros have kind of a uh, proprietary solid state drive that you couldn't pull it out even if you wanted to and plug it into another computer. At that point, 
Uh, I really hope you had your files backed up elsewhere other than just on that particular device because I believe some of those MacBook Pros, you can't even just pull out a solid state drive and plug it into a different MacBook Pro. Um, I think there's that security chip that kind of prevents that sort of thing. So uh, your, your results may vary uh, with other laptops, but for standard Windows-based laptops that use your standard drives, this process should work really well. Hopefully it does for you too. If you like this video, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things helpful to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at this uh, social media stuff at Hoosier Hardware. And of course, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.